Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my first December daily for 2018. I'm starting really late in the season, but I still wanted to do one. I've been taking some notes and things. I've got some pictures that I want to document. So I decided that I'm just going to try to jump in and get started. It's been one of those things where it's like every time I try to sit down and get started, I just don't have the motivation. I just don't have the inspiration. It's just been really hard to get there. Um, so I figured I'd just start with something easy and simple. The cover page, just get it done. And then try to go from there. So I am going to be using one of the little golden books that I made recently and had posted on my Etsy shop. I actually took it off my Etsy because I thought I would want to go ahead and use it for my December daily. So um, if you're interested in seeing a flip through of this, I do have a video of that. And what I thought I would do today is just um, do my cover page and then I'll see where we go from there. So I think I'm going to be doing a voiceover just because I do want to have be watching my videos and stuff like that as I'm doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and start the video now. All right, so I pretty much had the page designed already when I turned the camera on. Again, like I talked about in the intro, I was having a little bit of difficulty really being inspired this month. For some reason, every time I sat on my craft room table and started trying to do something, it just never was coming and I was just getting really frustrated with it. So I would just stop and then, you know, <laughs> go do something else. So I decided that I literally was just going to make this as simple as possible. I know for sure that I wanted to use this, you know, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. I definitely wanted to use that piece because I liked that, you know, it went along with the paper collection and everything. So I decided that I was going to back it with some red cardstock paper that I had. Um, so I just went ahead and inked up the edges for both the um, pink page and the red page. So the red page I used Vintage Photo and then the pink one. Think I want to say that's something brick. I can't remember what the name of it is. Sorry about that. Um, but I used both of those to kind of ink up the edges, and then I just decided to layer them um, with my and I used my uh, glue dots tape adhesive runner there, and I just stuck that onto the back of that piece. And once I got that in, um, kind of on the page where I wanted it. I felt like it needed a little bit something else. So what I decided to do was I just recently opened the um, leave collection from Cheaply Chic. I had just received that in the mail and these little die cuts were in the package. So of course I, you know, pulled the newest thing I received <laughs> or I got. Um, I don't typically do that. So I went ahead and pulled those and I went ahead and used those in there as well. And I knew for a fact that I wanted to use those big letter stickers. Those letter stickers I got at the Target Dollar Spot last season. So they're kind of like a frosted white and they kind of have um, like a texture to them. So I wanted to use those as well. So I decided that I was going to go ahead and ink up the edges a little bit on the snowflakes just to kind of have them pop off the page a little bit more um and i mean snow is sometimes a little bit dirty right i don't know i don't live in snow i live in california and <laughs> we have to drive to the mountains for snow um but yeah so i thought that would um kind of just give it a little bit of something and then um i wanted to add these little flat back crystals that also came from cheaply chic's collection so um, that's one of the things I love about her collection. She just adds so much stuff to it that you can use not only in the pro you know, her journal project, but in her other projects as well, because there's just so much stuff in there. And okay, so then I went ahead and just added a little crystal to the center of that one. And then I'm also going to add a little crystal to the center of the other one as well. And I'm just using my um, Fabri-Tac glue. And that little tool right there is from Mirror Memory Keepers. I got it at Tuesday morning. I do not know what it's called. It's just like a little stick tool. And it has like a little stick pointy thing at the end. And then a little like sponge at the other side. 
to kind of, it's like a sticky sponge. It's really cool. I really like it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get that glued on with my fabric tack and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue on the little um, snowflakes as well and I'm trying to do this fast because I just remembered that I wanted to put one of the snowflakes underneath that and um, yep, sorry about the bells my cat is playing with the little bells on my door if you can hear that in the background all right so I'm getting that glued on and then I'll get the other one glued on So one thing I love about Fabri-Tac is you can kind of adjust it a little bit if, um, you know, it takes a second. I mean, it, it grabs the paper, but it takes a second to actually you know, kind of adhere to it. All right. So there you go. I went ahead and put that on there. Stop fiddling with it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the letter stickers on. And I decided to start with the E and I put that in the center. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the D and the C on the correlating spots. And these stickers are a little bit hard to work with in regards to like how big they are and they're, you know, but, th but they're good. They're really, um, I really like them. I wish I had bought more because I don't have any, I don't hardly have any left, but that's all right. All right. Um, sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. I think he wants out, but I'm not going to let him out. I have to do my voiceover. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So there's that. And then I decided that um, I wanted to just go around the edge with the black pen and kind of look like it was sewn on. Um, kind of like fall sticky stitch it stitch stitches. So I'm doing that. And then once I get that done, I know you can't really see it in the video, but you can definitely see it in person. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the number stickers on there. I believe I also got these letter number stickers at the Target Dollar Spot last year as well. Um, they're kind of they're a cardboard. Um, I'm just using my Fabri Tac to glue them on because the adhesive on these things is not very good. So I'm just gluing them on with my Fabri Tac just to make sure they stay. And so that's basically my cover page, and that's what it looks like. And I know it's super simple, but I really like it. I feel like at least it's done. At least something is on the page and I'm starting it. That's kind of where I was at that point. And what I decided that I was going to do in this video is go ahead and show you the next page that I'm going to do. And I am actually talking in this part of the video, but I decided to just continue and do a voiceover with the rest of it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my next page. So I thought that I would do for the next page is do my word for the month. So my word for the month is going to be joy. And really that's what I've decided to do in regards to this particular date, December daily is I'm going to kind of have like one word for each day. Um, so one word kind of telling. So Allie Edwards that started this whole thing, she kind of does like stories, like this is the story that I wanted to tell for the day. So I kind of, going along that line of thinking where I want to like tell a story every day. So one of my, so one of my things is I'm going to do that through like picking one word. So one word each day to kind of, whether that's family or gifts or something, whatever that word is, I'm going to pick like one word and kind of tell the story about that word. That's just what I've decided to do for this particular December daily. So I wanted to start out with like what my overall month word is it would be joy. So I decided that I wanted to do kind of a reason why page, like why am I doing this December daily and kind of just explain like what happened with in regards to, you know, I tried to sit down a couple times and do it and it just wasn't coming and I was able to get it done and I just didn't have inspiration. So I kind of had to force myself to get it, get it done, which is kind of the exact opposite of joy. It just wasn't really joyful to be able to like sit down and then not have like inspiration. It's kind of frustrating actually. So I just wanted to kind of document that. So what I decided to do was I took this little envelope that I also got at Tuesday, uh, the Target dollar spot last season. Um, so I'm using my stuff from last season. I'm very excited about that. 
So I got this little envelope set. It's like a little letter set envelope. And I had those number letters or the letters from the dollar target. No, I got those at Dollar Tree, the joy letters. So um, those matched perfectly with this envelope set that I got. So I'm like, oh. And then I got this napkin from um, Cheaply Chic her out of her collection it was part of the collection I got that napkin and I'm like oh this napkin the, the greenery in it matches perfectly with the envelope and the, the letters the letter stickers so I just decided to basically make my own paper with this napkin and I'm just going to decoupage the napkin on to the paper and then um, I loved the fact too that it had hollies and the page on the other side um you can see the clock has a bunch of holidays hollies Ho I can talk Hollies <laughs> and um, the green really matched very well with that color as well so the tones all kind of really went together it was like perfect so thank you Lynette for giving me this napkin it's exactly what I needed and it definitely um, brought me joy to like be able to create this page and really I really love how it turned out I think it turned out really really beautiful and I love um, decoupaging napkins on the stuff because it's basically like you're creating paper. You're basically designing your own paper. <laughs> um, so I'm just decoupaging it in sections. You can see I'm kind of just to start up in the bottom and kind of work my way up because I knew that the bottom would uh, it'd be okay if it was a little bit wrinkly because I was I was going to put that envelope at the bottom anyway. So I figured I'd start with the bottom, kind of work my way up. That way I can make sure that it, you know, as I work my way up, it's kind of a little bit um, neater on the top. Okay, and you can see I'm just trimming up the napkin around the edges. I just have quite a bit of the napkin left. I have like a three-fourths of the napkin left, so hopefully I'll be able to use that on like a tag or something for a future project. So I'll definitely keep that. All right, and then um, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and put on the stickers. Again, I'm really sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background. Um, he wants out of the room, and I probably should just go ahead and let him out of the room. So I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be right back. But you won't even know because I'll be right back. Okay, now I got my cat out of the room, so hopefully it's a little less distracting for me. All right, so then I decided that I was going to go ahead and decoupage just the outside edges just to make sure that it stayed down. And the little piece of plastic that I have underneath my um, page is a, just a, cu a plastic cutting sheet mat from um, the Dollar Tree. You can buy them in like the kitchen section and they have um, two to a pack and I just trim it down and then use it in my journals as like a back, a backing. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to, um, I, I, Figured, I thought I, for, at first I was going to put it on the bottom, but then I, it was just a little bit too long, and I didn't necessarily want to cut it. So I'm trying to see if I can figure out how I can do it without cutting it. But I ultimately decide, you know what, I want the joy to be prominent. I want that to be the, on the top and the first thing you see. Um, so I'm just going to cut the envelope. So I just made it um, a side envelope instead of a, a top loading. So I'm just going to trim the envelope a little bit, and then. Um, and I had the paper, the piece of paper that came in the envelope set in that envelope. And I'd wish that I didn't cut that with the paper in it. Um, I wish I had cut it separately because I did cut the little thing that says hello um, off the page. But it's all right. I figured it out and it, it's fine. All right. So I'm just trimming it. I just had to trim it just a little bit more to fit it on the page. I'm just getting that trimmed. And then I didn't like the fact that the little green box there was kind of off-centered. So I'm like, okay, well, I've got to figure out how to make that look like it's meant to be that way. <laughs> um, so I just decided that I was going to do a little bit of stamping. I thought at first I was going to use those stickers, but they didn't show up good enough on the page. Um, so I got my little stamp set out. The stamp set that I'm using is from, um, oh, I think it's called By the Well Etsy Shop. Um, it was a package that I had bought last Christmas, um, and I just love the fact that I'm using last Christmas stuff, not just new stuff. 
that sometimes I get into those grooves where I just totally use all my new stuff and don't use my stash. So I'm really excited that I'm using older stuff. Anyway, I decided that I was just going to um, do some corner stamping. And that one leaf there is perfect. It's like a little holly leaf. And um, it was like that perfect little curve in it to kind of go on the edges. So I really loved that one. And then I also, I think I pulled another one here out in a second. Let me just put that stamp back. And then I think I'm going to... Um, remember sorry hold on okay yeah I do pull another stamp set out and put one in the corner there as well so I feel like it kind of made it look like it was intentional like the box was intentionally off to the side like that um I don't know okay and then in the box I wanted to put a scripture um so I'm going to put the um it's Luke 2 10 and I decided that I wanted to just write it in pen, pencil first because um, I didn't want to have to do all that work again. I, so and then I just wrote it in pen. Um, and then I glued up the top of the um, envelope and then just glued the whole envelope onto the page with my fabric tag. Then, um, so there is the scripture. I didn't write the entire scripture. Um, I just started kind of midway. So um, I just wanted, that's actually the scripture that I got from the Lord regarding the season is, um, and it does say great joy. So, all right. So then I put on the stickers and it's interesting with these stickers is they have like a little border around them. Um, so when I took them off of the thing, it wasn't as like, it didn't pop as much as I thought it was because I thought the sticker was a little bit thicker than it actually is. So what I decided to do was I also had the same exact stickers in red from the Dollar Tree. So thankfully I had enough letters, um, to spell out joy in both colors. So I just decided that I was going to go ahead and kind of layer the, the two colors together. Because there are some, there is some red um, little accents in the um, napkin that I used. So like little holly, the little hollies, and on the other side too, there was some red hollies in that holly. So I just decided to layer it up, and I think it actually turned out so cute. I really love how this looks, and um, these I can still get these stickers at the Dollar Tree. So I think I might actually try to go buy more because. I really like them. I think they're really good. They're really easy to work with and um, they're just really flexible and just really easy to work with. So I really like how um, those stickers, so I recommend them. They're kind of like a glittery sticker. Um, okay, so then I decided that I was wanting to just decorate each of the letters with a little holly leaf sticker. The holly leaf stickers I got at Hobby Lobby. And so I'm just, what am I doing here? Okay, I'm taking that sticker and then I'm just going to put that one. At first of all, I thought I just only was going to put the one in the O, but then I did decide to just um, put one in each of the letters. And I love how it turned out. I think this page really turned out really pretty and it just, um, I really like it. So I'm really glad that I was able to get it done and I got at least the two first pages done in this book. And um, since I recorded this video on... Tuesday, I think I did this on Tuesday evening, um, and now it's Saturday. I, st I haven't done one single <laughs> page in the book, just because everything, you know, it's busy time of year and season, and uh, so uh, hopefully this weekend I'll have some time. I've got some days off, so hopefully this weekend I'll be able to get some more done. All right, so I just put a little tab on that little page, just to, so when I pull it out, I can pull it out with a tab. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick flip through of what we did today. So I did the cover sheet, and then I also did this joy page. And I really love how it turned out. I'm going to give you a little bit of a close-up view here on the, um, the scripture. So I bring you good news that will bring you great joy to all the people. And, okay, so that's it. See you next time. Bye for now.